When it comes to shattered trust and betrayal, you will be triggered. You're going to be triggered when you uh, watch certain shows, see certain movies, hear a song, see someone, hear someone. It's endless. But here's what happens. As you move through the healing process, those same triggers lose their emotional charge. That's how you know that you're working on your healing. Now, I was just working with one of our members in the PBT, Post Betrayal Transformation Institute, and she had a trigger that took her down. And it was one that was just really, really painful for her. And then it happened again, and it didn't quite have the same effect. So I said to her, I was like, well, what would happen if we kind of switch things a little bit? Instead of just reacting when these things happen, and they will, instead of that, what about if you look at each one like a little test to see how far you've come? And this way, it's like it's like this little, you're kind of bracing yourself in a way, and and you're not just shocked and blindsided because we've been through that already. We don't need that again. But these triggers come and then you react and respond and, and test yourself. And then after it's over, you're like, huh, I handled that one like a pro. Or, wow, I did so much better than I did last time. These triggers will come. It is a part of healing. But you know you're healing when you use them as little tests to see how far you've come. I'll talk to you next time.